got a neighbor no warning evicted because his guest was a dick. We live on a tiny street. No street parking is allowed, because there's no room to drive past if someone parks on the street. It's a dead end. So I'm the only one affected if some turd parks on the street. I woke up early this morning with a mild hangover after watching the NFL draft last night, and decided to drive my dog to the dog park instead of walking him. We had all of the fun with frisbees, and came home when we were both tired. Around 9 a.m. Some dude is parked in the middle of the street with a big truck. I can't even pull into my street, much less my driveway, because dickhead has blocked everything. I see that he is talking to my trashy neighbor. They are both shirtless and drinking beer at 9 a.m. That's who we're dealing with. I asked him politely to move his truck so I can get by. He told me I was an entitled bitch and could deal with it. That he was a city employee and he had the right to park there. And wherever he wanted. Pretty woman mistake. Huge. I called the city. They have no employees working on our road today. And they have had complaints about this neighbor being aggressive. So they sent a tow truck and a cop. They towed Douchbag's truck. He refused to move it from the street, even when the cop said he had to. He tried to fight the cop, so he got arrested. Trashy neighbor was offended by this, so he got in the cop's face. The LEO then noticed that the neighbor's house is a permanent RV, which is not allowed in our town. You can only live in an RV for 90 days between September and March before it legally has to move. This man is always annoying neighbors. His dogs are running free and non-stop barking and fighting leash dogs. He likes to rev his motorcycle at 4 a.m. daily. Basically a trash person. When the cop and city planner showed up, they towed the truck. But also gave the fuck bro neighbor notice to move immediately, since he can't legally live in an RV here. He came to me with a sob story about how my bitchiness just cost him his livelihood. They're hauling the shitty RV away now. An annoying neighbor is still trying to fight the cops. Physically. And calling me ACNT for reporting his illegal situation. Cops aren't having it and are threatening to take him if he won't stop being aggressive. What's the saying about don't break two laws at once? Or. If you're going to break a bunch of town laws and make your neighbors hate you, maybe don't act confused when consequences for illegal shit happen. Don't break two laws at once. This guy seemed intent on breaking all of them. I would have cameras in my front backyard douch bags usually don't stop being douches. Luckily, he can drive his RV to a different town and annoy someone else. And calling me ACNT for reporting his illegal situation. But you didn't report it. You just reported his friend for being an asshole and blocking the street. It isn't your fault the cop noticed that he was also breaking the law with the RV. Or. If you're going to break a bunch of town laws and make your neighbors hate you, maybe don't act confused when consequences for illegal shit happen. Or if you are going to break a bunch of laws don't piss your neighbors off. Watch your back going forward, no telling what this jerk might get in his head to do. Often quoted, never wrong. The dildo of consequences rarely arrives lubed. This could have been avoided by the neighbor and his buddy just being polite and considerate. Two words I assume not in their vocabularies. Might want to get some cameras or a ring doorbell if you don't have one already or maybe a temp protection order against this guy too just in case. You never know what unhinged people like this might do. Stay safe out there. Watch your back. Schmucks like these two will mess with you. Please, watch your back. Satisfying when a dick gets what's coming to him. This is practically pro-level revenge, because of ALLL that happened to trash neighbor. Standing ovation. LOL all he had to do is not park there or at the minimum move his truck, but knew too difficult. 
FCK those doubt bags. I hope you remain safe, watch your back BC these POS sound like they might seek retaliation. I heard the saying as don't break the law when you're breaking the law. Watch your back and that of your dogs. Trashman may try to poison your dog, trash your car, etc etc. Be extra aware around your house. Trash like this likes to raise hell and posture to save face. Be safe. Hoping that you have protection because if this neighbor was aggressive before it's not likely that your interactions with him or his asshole friend are over. Glad you were able to get him hauled out, but please be safe and watch your back. He told me I was an entitled bitch and could deal with it. So you dealt with it. How could he complain about you doing what he told you to do? You had me until city planner. There is no way a city planner makes this a priority same day. So, I love it, but assholes put into desperate situations do have a tendency to act out. And he knows it was you and where you live, so just be careful, please? Calm as a batch LMAO. Fafo. You but 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 but. Can we see picture of Papa? I feel most sorry for the neighbor's dogs. This is absolutely delicious. Love how the revenge snowballed. This story is a thing of beauty. Both guys found themselves in a hole, and just kept digging even when they should have seen all the huge neon signs around them saying put the shovel down. Snowballed out of control because they couldn't shut their pie holes. Perfection. Be careful. People like that will try to get revenge. They may tamper with your car, or just straight up try to assault you. I don't think this is your fault at all. The neighbor and his friend chose to be dicks to you when it would literally be so easy for them to move the truck. You were well within your rights to get them to move so you could access your home. The fact that everything else happened is on they didn't want the cops snooping around they should have not forced you into calling them. I'm sure it's been said already but I strongly urge you to pursue a temporary order of protection while seeking something more permanent. A $40 wise brand security camera linked to your phone for some peace of mind. Document the events taken place, police statements, etc. Especially note any physical threats of violence or retribution. Unstable people tend to be impulsive and irrational prone to outbursts or fits of rage. Especially while under the influence. What's the saying about don't break two laws at once? I used to work retail security. The number of shoplifters who had weed in their pockets while shoplifting was unreal. OMG. Please tell me that you're posting from Hermosa Beach, Florida. Face with tears of joy, face with tears of joy, face with tears of joy. See what a little decency can prevent. Just imagine if turd in truck just moved. A ton of bad consequences can be avoided by just being decent. He likes to rev his motorcycle at 4 a.m. daily. Why would someone do this? Serious question. This shows how doing little things like parking properly saves you time, fuss, and eviction. Congratulations keep safe maybe get a camera in case either of them come back. I would do the same thing. Nice job throwing out the trash thumbs up sign. You did this to me says the guy who sat back and laughed as his friend did this to him. You and your dog clearly should have been grateful to be blocked from your home so you could sit and admire these two lovely creatures in their natural form. S. Protect yourself, your dog, and your property. This guy is pissed off and blames you. He's entitled and unreasonable, and it would not be shocking if he retaliated. Anyone willing to fight the police is willing to hurt you. Sometimes you gotta be a cunt to fuck a dick. This isn't petty revenge, you dropped a nuclear bomb on them. Good job thumbs up sign. In that circumstance, I'd proudly wear a CT badge. Two scumbags with one stone, that's a result.